hard, okay? With what I had said earlier before about fighting in a swimming pool, this is okay, it's self-defense. If you get put here, you, there's stuff to do, but I don't recommend staying here for very long. Uh, this, is, this is really for sport nowadays. It's, it's a sport uh, thing to stay here on your back. It's great to be able to submit people from here, but you know, it's tough, tough to win fights from just from your back. So we don't want to think of this as a matter of jujitsu. If I'm, if I'm down here, I'm, I'm drowning, I'm in trouble. Okay, so the first thing I'm always trying to do is establish that tactical guard, okay? Because I think guard is dead. I don't want to play in this guard. I'm drowning right now. I need to create space. I need to create movement and momentum. I need to get up. So my, my guard's going to open, and I'm going to look to put my knee in a chest as I, as I look to set a frame on him or something with something I call a Pez dispenser, right? So that knee comes up, and my, and my knee's in his chest, and I have uh, my forearm up in a position where I can defend. If I can get my, my foot on the hip too, this is great. Okay, I'll use this to create space in order to start getting away to my standing base and then I'm back up to fight. That's the basic script. Every time I get taken down, I'm gonna find a way to set my, my guard here, right? My knee shield, I like to call this tactical guard. And then I can start scooting away. If I need to, I can kick away but I'm gonna get separation, and I'm gonna start to get elevation, back up to my feet, ready to fight. Yeah.